Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 167. We're on our way through April. In case you weren't here last week, this is our 15th year. No, wait, is this our 16th year? 16th year, we had our 15th anniversary uh, last Friday, I guess it was. So um, welcome if you've been doing this since the beginning. Um, that makes you old. I think is probably the answer. Uh, 15 years, pretty exciting. As always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't here with us right now. Let's go look at the agenda. We'll do triage real quick. Um, I don't know how long that'll take, a little bit. And then we'll talk about the Vota V1 release. I don't know if you've noticed, but Vota is actually 0 0.9, has been, because there's been these little niggling things. Um, and since we're doing the VS 2019, need to get that out, since VS 2019 came out. Getting vote of 2019 out there, we should do that. So I thought I figured now is a great time to just get all of these little things done. So I'll give the status on that, and uh, we can talk about the release plan for it, since we didn't talk about the vote of 2000 release plan in detail before. So, uh, and then always we'll uh, go through anything else people want to talk about. But first, let's go do the fun stuff, triage. Bob, you ready? I'm ready. All right. I know I need to say I would get to this Ascension should have version their IDs. I got stuck in doing votive stuff, which we'll talk about instead. Um, so let's go talk about net effects. Can I make this go away? Yes. All right. Um, what numbers should be allowed to do detection of that related to early access? So someone wants early access of 4.8. Um, wow. Okay. So I guess the question is where are we going to put this? Four? Well, uh, it's not exactly clear to me when .NET 4 comes out. Um, I, I I don't. I wish we had Wix contrib again. Uh -huh. um, actually, for for you know any kind of uh, pre-release stuff, that might be an appropriate spot. Um, I don't think we should do RC releases personally. Cool. So uh, if 4.8 eight comes out, then we should put it in four, because four eight's going to come out later. Or are we going to right? Uh, it, it, if uh, if four eight comes out soon enough, then I'd consider putting it in three fourteen as well. But I think it's supposed to come out with the next version of Windows. Um, that makes sense. So end of year. Uh, September is that what, October is that when they come out? No. No, oh, like build. Month. Ah, that. Sorry. Right. So build like May. Okay. Or whatever. <coughs> um. All right. Um. And of course we have existing um, issues for .NET four seven one and four seven two. So I don't know that we need a separate one for four eight. I don't think we need a separate one for four eight RC. Um, you know, if we want to keep this one open as well as a reminder for RTM, I'm fine with that. All right. So we're going to take this. I think that's the answer. The question is where to put it. So we put it in the right milestone. Yeah, I mean, if it comes out this month, I would take it in 314. All right. Drop it there. I, I'm giving up. Custom actions do not detect 2017 when 2019 is also installed. Well, that's sad. Um, has anybody pinged Heath on this yet since he wrote all of the feature? No. Um, can we like ping Heath and see if he's interested in understanding the root issue of this at least? Because that sure. sounds wrong. That. He was very gung-ho on making this work a long time ago, and the fact that it doesn't work when 2019 comes out seems wrong. <laughs> so I should go dig into that. Uh, let's leave it open for a week, see if we get an answer, and we'll talk about it next week. Yep. Resolve source not working on upgrade or uninstall scenario. Hmm, interesting. Not surprising to me that the resolve no. source would not be coming out, but... Yeah. I I guess I want to have to dig into this. Uh, so we put this in four. Four X. Wow, got quiet. All I heard was 
a well, sigh. Uh, yeah. Again, I have this. I have this issue. It's like, is someone interested in investigating this? Well, it's a bug, so it needs to hang out there. And I mean, we haven't done our our project respawn thing, so you know, to make these bugs go away and say, hey, as soon as someone wants to dig into this, they can bring it back. Yeah, I guess. How hard do you think it would be to reproduce what's going on here? Um, create an MSI that forces resolve source in it. That should do it. And then uninstall. No, except it. Well, I guess yeah. I guess resolve source would do it. I think that would do it. And then do it on a VM because you may not get that MSI off the machine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So you know, create a resolve source. Delete the cache, the package cache, or move the package cache. Do an uninstall, or not the pack. Move the MSI out of the package yes, cache in its folder, not the whole package cache, and then uninstall the bundle. And I mean, it's that kind of thing. The forced resolve source should do it. Not working an upgrade. I assume that's upgrade uninstall probably. I mean, now a lot of this is, you know, why are they needing a resolve source during uninstall? That's usually bad. Um, but it's possible, and so, yeah, it'd be great if the resolve source worked. Although, if you're using a bundle, why is the source still not there? But anyway, all kinds of questions. Well, there. yeah, th this is a forced nuke of the package cache and the MSI cache. That's pro you're right. That's probably what happened is the customers nuked a bunch of stuff off their machine, put them in a weird state, and now it's like, hey, please fix it for us. And it's like, mm, okay. Except I guess the answer could be repair <laughs> the bundle before you do that. But uh, anyway, and it's not clear to me. So it's like I, I think resolve source that he's talking about is coming from the engine. Yes. Now that should get prompted up through burn and then all the way back to the BA. Now is it, well, I guess that, I'm I'm asking that question. Is is the, whatever the event is actually called, is that used both for the engine needing source resolution and for the MSI message? Or is it, or does he have to handle the, you know, an MSI message rather than resolve source? I don't know off the top of my head which, um, what he said, does with that he message. said it didn't execute in the sign message event. So that tells me it's not a resolve source event. Oh, that that's says. true. It, and Jake was making a good point that the install UI level non and install UI level source res only means that we do let the MSI show the source resolution. Or that's the expectation. Deinstallation is processed. That's cute. Um, well, and yeah, I'm kind of. There are some precise terms that would help understand this a little better. Um, this is a repro of get the uninstalled and start seeing what the behavior is inside the MSI. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That is so what this it is, is. Someone needs to dig into this and all that kind of stuff, which is why I'm like, yeah, we toss it 4x and someone can start debugging whenever they want to go jump on it. I mean, I guess I would do it if someone could give me the repro so I wouldn't have to figure out how to get this set up. Because there's a custom VA, there's a bundle, there's an MSI, and you're messing with package caches. You know, I feel like most of the bug is just going to be setting up <laughs> right, uh, right. You say that until you try to fix it, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. no, in fact, they're both big, big pains in the ass. Yes. I, I, I think that's fair. Sean, are you, so I say we toss this in 4X, and Sean, you can leave that comment on there, because I don't want to speak for you. Um, um, and then if he comes back with a small repro, then you could be like, all right, cool, I'll, I'll dig into this. Sure. And go from there. Okay, I'll put it in 4X. Sean, you can add whatever you want. Exactly. Ah, uh, burn support for WM settings to refresh environment variables. This actually came out of our world. We got a ticket about this. 
Um, this is an interesting feature request. A customer had an MSI, I believe. I think it was an MSI that was setting an environment variable that they then later wanted a XE to be able to read and use. And they had some, and they're migrating from something else. So I, I, the ticket was like, uh, that sounds like not great, but okay. So the issue is that because burn does a create process on the XE later, that XE will inherit the environment variables that burn was started with, which of course burn was started before the MSI was launched, so burn doesn't get um, its variables, um, or doesn't doesn't get the new variable or whatever changed inside the MSI. So we we see this sometimes with MSIs where where a custom action sets a variable and there's an expectation that a future custom action will be able to. Yeah. access that variable, but sometimes MSI will recycle the custom action host. Right. So this is the request for Burn to do the awesomeness in there um, to you know get its environment variables updated. So anyway, it didn't object to the feature outright on our site. So we're like, yeah, we'll open it and see if anybody in Wix wants to do it. So I think this goes in 4X, and if someone wants to pick it up, they can um, yep. We said we would open it for them, and so we did. <laughs> but nobody's really. Who knows? A couple people get interested in our world, and maybe they'll do it. But we'll see. It's interesting. I, I I hadn't thought of it. The thing that one of the big questions I had on this was whether this is going to work for MSI packages, and I expect it's not, because the MSI engine is not going to get recycled. Therefore, right. Same it's thing. thing. It's, it's like going to get updated. If the process. If any process gets reused and they don't already, you know, handle settings change messages, then yeah. so this only works for XE packages, which is like, eh, that's kind of a bummer. But I believe that was their scenario. So hey, well, maybe it'd work for them. Anyway, there's the feature request. Heat fails to suppress VB6 registry elements when this is done. That, and he's working around the issue with a whole bunch of changes. I went and looked. I'm like, well, if those are the changes, then why not submit a pull request? But I think maybe that's the answer. I don't know. It's heat. So, hey, something he could send uh, when we get to four, we could do it, right? Uh, well, yeah. When we have heat in the right place in four. Yeah. Or no, we haven't moved heat. Yeah, we haven't moved heat. As in, he just stole in the Wix four repo. So if he did, the, if he submitted a pull request against four, then we had accepted it before we pulled heat out. Then we would just get the change, and he'd have the fix in four. Let's put it in four X and mention to him that hey, if he wants to get this in the Wix proper, he should submit it against the four Wix four branch um, soon, because <laughs> the four branch will get archived eventually. Right. As we're doing the big repo reorganization, so. That little snippet of sentence there, and then, hey, he won't have to maintain his own fork with this heat stuff in it. All right, I think that's all of the issues for now. All right, carrying on. I guess Treasure is a little bit more interesting than I thought it would be. Votive V1 release. So, like I mentioned before, Votive is currently 0 0.9 because it was. Honestly, it was just like, hey, here's a new process that we're using to build it. Seems to be working. People seem generally happy with it. We really should make it 1.0. To do that, we need to do a few things, which I listed here. One, we need to add VS 2019 support because, well, Visual Studio shipped, and we have the fix, um, or the fix, the the copy of the 2017, copy of 2019, thanks to Christopher Painter, and then he did a lot of work to validate that, yeah, it generally works. Um, also, thanks to Sean for using all that, finding this problem with this breaking change in MS build and telling them not to break us, which was great that I guess that was a nice forcing function to have all that work out. Um, so we have 2019 support there. Another thing we needed to do to be V1 was we need to sign the things. Um, Heath Stewart did the work to get the .NET Foundation team to give him all the information so that he could uh, give us the changes here. Thank you for the Microsoft connection. People actually answer his emails where they ignore mine. Um, but yay, we got that signing stuff. So I did, I'm in the process of doing the work. I've got it essentially done um, for signing votive releases. So votive will come out with signed with the Wix toolset. Um, 
certificate. Yay. Uh, the next thing is we made a call that the V4 templates are just making a mess of things. People pick them. They shouldn't. Um, they actually show up but everywhere. The ones that are most frustrating is when people leave comments on our Visual Studio Marketplace where they're like, well, this didn't work, and it turns out they're using four, and so we should not make four templates available right now because they're not ready for general use. Uh, should definitely not be in the vote of V1 release. Um, and honestly, the templates might change a little bit more given the changes they're making. So I have removed the V4 templates from the process. The last thing that has been hanging around for a while is that our templates display improperly, or more importantly, we have a bunch of project templates that show up correctly, but then in the you know project new dialog, but then below that, we, it shows up with a bunch of internals of those templates. And I have no idea why that's happening. We've dug around on our side and Fire Giant asked around. We don't know either, so we've now used our contacts at Microsoft to said, what is going on here? We're probably doing something wrong, but we don't know what it is. Uh, and searching for uh, templates showing more files than they should and such isn't turning out to find anything out there. So, net net, we have a question out for a template display issue. So that's the thing, that's the last thing that I know of that's blocking the uh, Vota V1 release. As soon as we get that done, then we'll do a build. We'll have a build out and we can send people that, that build and say, hey, you can now install this version of Votive. Please do so to make sure that it works properly. The question after that is when do we want to release it to um, the marketplace, which then makes it official for everybody. Well, if we put it up on the releases page, then it's the official spot <coughs> for people to get their, their Wix stuff. So I don't think there's a huge rush to get it to the marketplace. I'd like to, you know, get, I don't know, a couple of weeks worth of people using it. I'm using it, or one. I'm using one of the builds, and it works in 2019. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not hugely concerned, but I wouldn't mind a few weeks of, of uh, shake and bake. Yeah. And well, some of you know these other changes, you know, the signing and stuff. We need to make sure they don't blow up. I have tested Visual Studio 2010, and the signing did not mess things up. Although the UI is a little different back there, um, but yeah, um, but it's still installed and worked, so that was the important part. Um, all right, so I guess we're going to wait for the template display issues to get solved because I really don't want to go with V1. It's just it's really busted. It looks really wrong, and yes. just cannot figure out what's going wrong there that's causing that problem. So we'll get that issue solved. I'm Someone at Visual Studio must know what we're doing wrong. Um, and since they started pinging me, when are you going to have this done? I now can say, hey, well, help us out, and we'll get it done. So we'll do that, and then a couple weeks of people hopefully um, beating on the releases, trying them out on their various um, things. So I guess we'll send a mail to... Um, Wix users as soon as we have what we think is the final build and tell people, hey, can you please try this out? Let's see if we can get a bunch of people there to do it. Yeah. Uh, before we go to Marketplace where we get, you know, hundreds of thousands of downloads. <laughs> right. So, okay. Uh, so, that's the path to V1. I will talk about this template display issue in two weeks if we don't have it solved there, at least to say we still don't know what's wrong. Um, hopefully it is solved before that, and then we get the pull request updated. I have a pull request with these things out. I'm going to fix the template display issue as soon as we know what it is, and then get that build out um, when it shows up. So that's the plan. If you're watching, you can go see in the Visual Studio extension repository the pull request. When that is done, when that thing is accepted, then you know that we think we have our final build. All right. Anything else people want to talk about right now? Questions, comments, stuff going on? All right, that's a lot of quiet. All right, I don't have anything else. Uh, Votive has been massively frustrating, as it always is. Every time I try to do anything in there and deal with it, something always breaks. Something in Visual Studio 29 broke Visual Studio 2017. So the way we're building Vis Votive is to use Visual Studio 2015, which just seems wrong, but hey, it works, and the new stuff doesn't, so yay, go team. 
that was my frustration in the last couple of days. I hope you guys had a better time and more productive use of your days than I did. Um, we'll be so, back. Uh, in- how's the Wix 314 build going? So the Wix 314 build, oh, you did the PR, so that should be good to go. I will do that tomorrow. Okay. I lost myself in just trying to make votive work that I, I was a you know I was about to rage quit the <laughs> the uh, <laughs> everything build related essentially it's just it was frustrating so uh, yeah I'll go push the buttons on that tomorrow but that should be good to go as well um, so we'll have that all right so we'll push a new 314 build out that with the new signing stuff tomorrow and the votive stuff as soon as it shows up, and then we'll go from there. Good, good, good? Yep. All right. We'll be back in two weeks, April 25th. We'll do this again. Until then, you guys have a good time. Bye. Bye. Bye.